All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. Uh, today, I'm going to play one round of Armello. Uh, it is a board game. It is a digital board game with a lot of strategy and political mechanics about it. And it's it's a lot of fun. It's just a lot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to explain this game over the course of it. For those of you who have not played this game before, now this game's actually a lot of fun. This game's a lot of fun. I was not given anything to play this on the channel, but I have a link in the description. I like sharing uh, the games that I actually do play all the time or play a lot. So in the description, there'll be a link to where you can find this game on Steam for yourself in case you find it interesting. Also, this is my Steam name, Chill the Beast. Feel free to add me if you want. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to play a single player round, okay? Uh, I'm going to pick a new game. No special rules about it. I'm going to explain the base game rules. Uh, I'm going to get a lot of stuff wrong. I'm going to try my best to get things right in one shot, okay? So it's a four-player game. You have to play this game with four players. Uh, you pick your hero. Uh, I always play as River of the Wolf Clan. Uh, I like her. I like playing as River. She's a huntress. Uh, each character has their own stats. These are all important for different parts of the game. Uh, there's fight, which is how many dice you roll in combat. Uh, there's body, which is how many hits it takes to kill you. There's wit, which is, I believe, how many cards you can have in your hand. Um, I'm sorry, how many cards you need to have in your hand at the beginning of each turn. And then spirit. Hmm. I don't remember what spirit is. I'll get to it. I'll, I'll show you how you can find what each of these does in better detail later. Uh, spirit, I don't remember. I believe it's not important for, for River. That's why I don't need it. Okay, I'm going to be River. Oh, and each character also has their own special ability. Let me go back. They all have their own uh, ability that helps them. River is a huntress. That means that when she starts combat, whenever she's the one that's attacking someone else... Uh, she deals one damage off rip. She immediately deals one damage before the battle even starts. If that target, if that person dies, that character dies, uh, she stays where she is. The battle doesn't happen, and she can still move. Uh, let's see. I believe that's it. And then the computer will randomly pick three characters. Uh, typically, I just don't want to play with another wolf in play. Like, I try to make it so we have four, at least four different uh, clans. So what we're going to do... Oh, I need to pick my ring. Uh, let's see. Okay, so like I said, everyone has their own base stats. Uh, for River, she has four fight, five body, four wits, and three spirit. You can influence those with the rings. I'm sorry, not with the rings, with the next bit. Let me see. For for River, I'll get the Moonstone ring, which gives her plus one magic for every kill she gets in battle. And then you can influence it, influence these stats with the amulet. Uh, so, for example, this amulet here gives plus one fight, so she will have a fight of five, or she could have a body of six, or wits of five, or spirit of four. And then all of these are unlocked by completing different objectives. Uh, for for River, I think I want to go body six. I think I want to go up to six for body, so I'll get the soak amulet. Okay, and like I said, for the, for the computers, I typically pick different clans it doesn't matter which ones to be honest let's see uh because i didn't go through the characters before there's two wolves there's two rats two rabbits and two bears uh this is just the base game no dlc or anything like that there's plenty more characters uh let's see we'll go bear actually let's go sana and then I'll give her a random ring and then a random amulet. And then next hero, let's go. That's Mercurio, right? Yeah, let's go Mercurio. Random ring. Random amulet. Let's go next hero. We have a wolf, a rat, a bear. We need a rabbit. Let's go Barnaby. All right. Let's begin play. Let's start the game. This gonna be good
From the wolf to the bear, the clowns declare the time has come to take the throne for rots creeping. It twists our king. Heroes rise. Save our mellow. Okay. So a lot of things are going to be happening, okay? This is the king. And the king is infected. The infection is driving him mad, okay? Now, the infection is driving him mad. Over the course of the game, he will get sick. Oh, Lord. It's going to make it hard for me to explain things because everything's going to be happening. Uh, let's see. So uh, you're given a quest. Every time the game starts or you complete a quest, you're given a new quest. Uh, and it tells you what you can win or what, what you can earn if you complete your quest. Like I said, uh, River wants to kill a lot of stuff. So I probably want to go with this one, Pruning we- uh, Weeds, which will give me a reward of one fight as well as one prestige. Basically, prestige is the king's favor. The more prestige you have, the more of the favorite person you are to the king. I think that makes sense grammatically. The more the king likes you the most. And being liked the most by the king is actually what you want. That's one of the ways to win the game. Uh, Let's see. Uh, The alternatives would be I would get plus one for wit, or I get plus one for spirit. Which is affinity towards the wild and my ability to harness magic power. So this affects my magic. Uh, I, I, I still want to go pruning weeds. So this is my goal. I need to get to this location here. The game takes place. Oh, it's going to let me go first. Good. That means I can explain stuff. The game takes place on a hex board. The squares. I'm sorry. The, the places I can move are connected by hex. Now, you see these three, I'm sorry, these two have the strongest outline. The entire hex is outlined. That means from where I am right now, I can move into one of these two squares. Uh, over, the, over each turn, I can only move three spaces. I have three action points. I can only move three spaces. So everything that's highlighted or, or outlined is as far as I can go for this turn. Uh, this is a dungeon here. Moving here means I'll need to roll some dice to make uh, to attempt to roll certain sides, certain specific sides. If I succeed, then I'll get a reward. If not, I'll be punished severely. This is a king's peril. This flag right here is a king's peril. More or less the same thing. If I succeed, I'll get certain rewards. If not, I will be punished severely. These square or these hexes here are swamp tiles. They'll take away one of my health. Like I said, I have a body of six, so I have six health. If I lose all my health, I return to this square here, which means I won't be able to get to my goal of getting here. Uh, these cards here on the side are cards in my hand. I can use these cards at almost any time. They're like, there's few times where I can't use it when something else is happening. Uh, even if it's not my turn, I can play these cards. And they all have certain costs or, or requirements. For example, this card, Banish, uh, I play this to a creature, a dungeon, or a stone circle. And it will teleport whoever's there to the farthest dungeon from where they are. It costs four magic. So if you look at the bottom right, my magic. I only have three, so I won't be able to play this card. This card, Warhammer, though, uh, it is an equipable card. It's not like a spell. In fact, that's what the green cards are. The green cards are spells in the... Yellow cards are items. This is an equipable card. Uh, In battle, I get one less die to roll, but I get two more swords. This is a good card if I'm planning to fight a lot of people, but I need to make sure I use it correctly. This one means I need to be on the offensive, and it costs three gold to use. Here's the gold. I got three gold. Uh, I'm going to stop talking a little bit, and I'll actually move. So let's move. Let's see. This is a, a stone circle. I don't really need to move in there yet. But I, I'm going to go in these swamps. Let's see. So I'll move here for my first move. Move here for my second. And then this is a dungeon. Yeah, let's, let's, let's walk in this swamp. As I step here, I lose one health. And that's okay. You can lose as much health as you want as long as you don't die. Because then you'll go back to the start. Uh, I did all of my actions for the turn. I did three different movements. My turn's over. Time to time to end it. So another player's gonna go. Sana's gonna go actually. On Sana's turn, I can play cards that will affect her or could affect her. Uh, each card has different requirements for what can happen or what you can do. So you need to just be be careful. 
that you're paying attention. Like, like a lot of stuff can be happening. Even while it's their turn, I can still be doing things. For example, if I wanted to equip this now, I could. And actually, I probably will since Sana is right in front of me. I'll equip that. So I paid my gold, and now I have it equipped here. Oh, not the hero shelf. We're going to ignore Barnaby's turn. Things aren't really going to happen just yet. So in my inventory, I can have three different things in my inventory equipped at the same time. So that's equipped right now. Barnaby's going, and he's encountering a peril. So like I said, you need to roll certain things in order to succeed in the peril. He didn't. He didn't. So he, what he did was awoke a sleeping terror. That means he caused something bad to show up in the, in the town of Armello. Uh, let's see, he's fighting somebody. Let's go over here and check out the fight. You roll dice equal to your fight, as well as anything else you have equipped. Now this thing, this evil Bane, is one of the king's allies, I guess. Remember I said the king is infected. He's getting sick. And it's making him more and more evil as the game goes on. The king also has his own health. You can see it on the right side of the screen right now. Every new day, he's going to lose one health. He's going to lose one health. The point of the game is to win, of course, one way or another. There's several different ways you can win. You can either kill the king, which is really hard to do. You can... Gather four stones, four special stones that appear over the course of the game to purify the king. Or when the king dies, you can have the highest prestige. If the king dies and no one killed him or whoever killed him is also dead, you can have the highest prestige. I believe those are the three different ways to win. It's, it's a game of figuring out the best way to go. I love political games. If you know me and board games, you know that I love political games. Specifically ones where you can lie and use deceit, but this is okay too. <laughs> so after all the characters go, the Bane, the king will act, the king will do things, and then uh, the Banes will go. The, the, that huge purple bird that showed up. Uh, let's see, I'm going to get another item. I, like, I typically like playing with a lot of items. Okay, so I can play this to another hero, to either me or another player, or the king's guard. So the order of turns is all players, or the heroes, I believe it's the king, and then the king's guards, and then the bane, that purple bird that showed up. So I can either play this to, I can, I can make somebody poisoned. I can make someone poisoned, which means they'll lose one health for each action point they spend. But I'll gain one rot. Rot is corruption. It's the same thing that's corrupting the king. It could be good to have rot, could be bad. It's typically never, it's never a bad thing to not have rot, but depending on how, mo how much rot you have, it could be a good thing to have it. So if I play this, uh, I'm going to gain one rot, but whoever I play it on will be poisoned. And I think, let's see, hmm, hmm, I'm trying to figure out what's the best thing to do. I think I should just bypass. I was going to attack Sana, who's not good at combat. But I think I... Actually, she's in my way. One, two. Yeah, I won't be able to get here. These are mountains. Mountains cost two action points to climb. So if I were to go this way and then up here, I would my turn would be over. I wouldn't be able to do anything. So I think my best course of action might actually be to kill Sana. Unless I... T oh, I'm on magic. Yeah, I think I got to kill her. If I want to get here as quickly as possible, I think I got to kill Sana. You know what? We're not going to do that. We're not going to start right now. I'm going to move through the forest and then up to the mountains. Uh, the mountains are fortified. It gives you a bonus shield in battle. Provided Sana attacks me like I think she's going to, I'll explain what having a shield in battle means. As well as what that card that I equipped up means when it says minus one die and plus two swords. Okay, she's not going to attack me. She's not going to attack me. Next time someone gets in battle, though, I will be able to uh, show what it means. Since I'm not doing too much with my turn or off my turns just yet. So Mercurio just went to a city and saved them. 
I don't want to say safe, but like that's the best way to explain it. It said that he said that they're okay. They'll be fine. Uh, that city will give him one gold, I believe, each turn. Yeah, they'll give him one gold each turn for every city that you save or each settlement that you you protect. They'll give you one gold each turn. All right, now it's the king's turn. Now each day the king will lose one heart. Each night the king will gain one rot, but will lose one heart. Let's see the most. Uh, prestige is Mercurio. So the king is going to let Mercurio make a decision. That will do nicely. So everybody has to pay the king two gold. And if they can't, they lose one prestige. Looks like most of us lost prestige. Uh, like I said, prestige means the king likes you the most. So the king will ask you what it is that you think he should do for the people of Armello. In most cases, it's never going to be something good. <laughs> All right, so here's combat. The king's guard is actually attacking one of the king's bane. Okay, so there's six different sides on each die. For each sword, you'll gain one attack. For each shield, you'll gain one defense. Uh, this rot symbol doesn't do anything right now. And then this symbol here, this tree symbol, is actually uh, a sword, but it lets you roll the die again. So you get two things from it. And then the more you keep rolling... If you keep rolling trees, then you keep get the roll. Um, there's one more side. There's a sun and a moon. During the su during the daytime, the sun will count as a sword, I believe, and during the nighttime, the moon will count as a shield. There's a lot of random random number generator. Okay, so remember, for right now, I just want to move here. I think I'm the first one to complete to complete a mission. Okay, so my thing was pruning weeds. It'll give, it'll guarantee, uh, guaranteedly. <laughs> I'm sure to get one fight and one prestige, no matter which option I choose. But one of them is better than the other. If I were to take the one on the left, what I have to do is pretty much. Okay, so the symbol. Let me try and explain this better. The symbol that I have here is the percentage chance out of ten. That I get a bonus item, okay? So I have four, four fight. That means I have four out of ten chance, forty percent chance to succeed and get a bonus item. But if I fail, I'll take a penalty. In this case, I'll lose two health. In this case, I'll lose two health. It's not really worth it for me. I already started with bonus health, so let's not gamble it just yet. And the reward is pop it. After surviving a battle, your opponent suffers two health. That's actually really good. But like I said, it's, it's not truly worth it just yet. I'm just going to take take the base. I'm just going to take the plus one fight and plus one prestige. Keep me in the game. It's not always worth it to, ro to risk it. Okay, so I finished that quest. I still have two moves for this turn. Can I, I, I could probably kill Barnaby. I could probably kill Barnaby. Let's see. What have we? Poisoned until in the next turn. Every time he takes an action. Uh let's go let's go fight Barnaby. Let's go let's go start some mess. Remember, because of my ability, I'm gonna deal one damage before combat even begins. Actually, let's poison him. Oh no, let's not poison him yet. Let's poison him at the end of the turn if I don't kill him. If I'm already dealing one damage, I just need to roll three more swords then he rolls shields so that's my ability one damage before the battle even starts okay so i have five for fight that means i'm gonna get five dice he has four for fight so he's gonna get four dice but then all of our stuff that's equipped will also come into play now this burning thing in the middle I can throw away cards to guarantee that I get one of these sheet or one of these item icons in the top right. I'm not going to. I don't really want to throw those away. So I'll just roll my dice. Okay. So I had six swords to Barnaby's five shields. He's gonna take one point of damage, and I had no shields, so Barnaby's gonna kill me. And because I only did one point of damage, Barnaby has two health left. So the best thing for me to do, actually, would be to go ahead and poison him. 
That's fine, Barnaby. Like I said, I could do stuff during other players' turns. Let's play. Oh, I can't play it on clan grounds. What? Oh, because I'm on the clan grounds. Remember, I died, so I went back to my clan grounds, which means I can't play a card like this. That makes me sad. <laughs> that makes me sad. If Barnaby slips up, though, and goes on this mountain, I'm going to kill I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Ugh, I should have played this before. I didn't realize I couldn't play it on the clan grounds. I'm going to say, what do you mean? He's not on clan grounds. All right, Barnaby. Move to the mountain. I dare you. Damn it. Damn it. He's a clown. I'm watching you. You slip up and go on the mountain, fam. It's over. Oh, I need to select my next quest. Uh, let's see. So this symbol here is one of the rocks that will help purify the king. If you gather four of these and go to the king's castle, then you'll be able to purify and you win instantly. There's no way you can lose at that point. Uh, let's see. I'm going to. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the the heart. What's that? Body. I'm gonna go with body. And that's the location for my next one. I should have just let him live. I should have just let him live. You don't have to watch the battle. But if you don't, then this is all that sits on the screen. So typically, I try and watch the battle just so I keep or not keep track. I can I can learn how other people are playing, even though they're AI, and get used to it and prepare for about prepare for when I'm actually going to fight them. Okay, so my target, my quest is all the way on the other side of the king's kingdom. <laughs> Let's see. It's going to take me several turns to get there. It's going to take me several turns to get there. Let's see. Where's Barnaby? Where's Barnaby? I can eat quickly jump to where another character is by using the bracket. Barnaby, if I move out of here, I can, ki I can kill him instantly. Come here. Where you at, Barnaby? Oh, he's out of my range. Oh, no. Okay. So each, each card has also has range. Uh, when you hover over a card, it shows you how close you need to be to them to use it. For example, he needs to be within the red barrier or red boundary right here to use this. Blizzard, I could play pretty much anywhere on this side of the field. They just have to be on a mountain. This card I can use anywhere on the board. Yeah, I can use it on any settlement. And then banish. They have to be within that border again. Okay, that's fine. Nothing but swamps around my base. I, I guess I should not die so much because there's nothing but swamps around where I start. All right, let's watch Sana. Is it gonna? You gonna? Oh, cause she's hidden. In nighttime, certain characters hit are hidden in certain places. For example, in the forest, you can see right here on the right side. It says it provides stealth at night. So in the forest, you won't be able to be seen. That's why it wouldn't jump for me. Leech, steal one health unless target is something. Oh, he's leeching from me. How lovely. He's leeching from me. Oh, and he's going to fight. This He's just the kindest. All right, rat. Everyone has so many shields from the start of battle. I was ambushed. Uh, that means I can't play any cards. It's really just rolling the dice. I'm not allowed to play any cards when I'm ambushed. Ambush means uh, they caught me off guard. If I move in to attack someone else and they're hidden, and I don't know, and naturally, if you're hidden, I don't know you're there. Uh, that's that's them being ambushed. If they do that to me, then I'm being ambushed. And we both died. And we both died. Great. Back to the start again. Back to the start again. Barnaby. He's encountering a peril. Peril works the same way as combat. You need to roll certain symbols to succeed. He threw away a card that had this symbol to guarantee that he rolled one. But he failed. He still failed. So bad things have happened. And that was actually Sanaa's Peril. These cards here. I'm sorry. Uh, not this one specifically. But the red cards sometimes have perils that you can play as traps for other players. All right, so the rabbit's choosing again. 
All heroes gain stealth until the next dawn or until they're spotted. So we all have that stealth. We, if, if someone tries to it, well, we can't try to attack somebody, but if someone runs into someone else, it will be an ambush. They won't be able to play cards. They just roll dice. All right. Let's see. So we all have stealth until we're spotted or until the next dawn, until the next time someone chooses uh, a favor from the king. I need to get over here. Y'all not let me get over there. So here's what we're going to do. Let's explore the dun Who? but then there's a peril too. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to move here. We're going to go through the dungeon. It's just going to give me something. I, before I said that, it, it, it rolls dice. This one, dungeons just give you something off rip. So we have magic now. Now we can finally use banish. We could play it on ourselves. We could play on ourselves and get teleport to the farthest dungeon. That would be right here. Naturally, the farthest is directly across the board, right? No, actually, if there's one down in these corners, that'd be, I think, you know what? Let's risk it for the biscuit. It, it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt to do that right now. Let's play that on ourselves. And not bad. It got us to the other side of the board. That's that's really all I wanted. All right, so I have one more action to take. Uh, these two are both perils. This is a swamp. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go here. And let's just pray. Let's just pray that nobody, that nobody, tries to run into me. All right, because everyone's in stealth, this is going to be pretty boring to look at. I have no idea where to go. I have no idea where to go in this entire world so I can see what's actually happening. Sana gained a spirit stone. I played the game against Sana enough to know that Sana is going for the victory in which he gathers the four stones and then goes to purify the king. Sana uses uh, spirit more than any other character. I know that much for a fact. She's going for the spirit victory. So if you want a bunch of easy kills, just chase Sana down over and over. <laughs> of course, that's not how you. It's now you win, but that's that's the thing. If you're trying to get a combat win and you need to gain something from combat, go for Sana. Like I said, this is a boring turn. Everyone's in stealth. Everyone's in stealth. We can't tell what's going on. She played Crooks. It's not going to let me know what Crooks does. Uh, because it's in stealth, it's actually not even updating the activity log down here at the bottom that tells what all is happening. All right. Now it's nighttime. The king gains one rot. And he drops another peril. And there's a stone here. How wonderful. How wonderful. The stone is on the peril. So before I said, you can tell the villages, the settlements, the cities that everything will be all right. That's true until these Banes show up and fuck up the day. <laughs> Let's get another item. I get plus one fight and minus one wit until in the next turn. So this isn't something that's equipable. This is, this is just like a spell, uh, but it's an item. It's Brazenberry Ale. This makes it so I have one less card in my hand. Or I, at the max, I have one less card in my hand. But I gain one fight. That actually is a good card for me. Okay, I need to get here. The easiest way is just go through this peril. Go here and walk up to the swamp and take one point of damage. Uh, I think I'm going to do that, to be honest. All right, so here's my peril. Banish. If I fail this, this card happens to me. But if I succeed, I get the card in my hand. Uh, to succeed, I need a sun, a sword, and a shield. Here's a sun, a shield, and I just need to roll a sword. Did it. So likewise, in combat, if I want to guarantee that I have certain symbols, I could throw away those cards for the peril as well. Because the last thing I needed was for that card to happen to me. I'm sorry, I don't get it in my hand. I just make sure it doesn't happen to me. I think I think getting the card is what happens if I succeed at another hero's peril. Not entirely sure. Could be making that up. All right, so I take the one point, but I succeed in this. Uh, I have six. I have uh, six body. 
So this is a 60% chance that I can get the Spirit Stone. And to be honest, I really don't want to risk it. The the offset. The offset is one health, losing one health. I mean, I'm not going for Spirit Stone victories. I don't think they do anything on their own. Let's see. Any hero that possesses four of these, blah, blah, blah. Spirit Stones can be found. Yeah. I'm not going for a Spirit Stone victory. Uh, I think I should just let it ride. I think I should just let it ride. All right, so I gain a bonus body, and I gain one prestige. Hopefully, I don't die. When you die, you lose prestige, which is why I currently only have one. Uh, into my turn. They're going to do stuff. Of course, we can't see anything. Hmm, rumors. All right, new quest. Oh, someone's attacking me. How lovely. We'll choose our quest in a second. Oh, shit. I need to choose it now. Here we go. Now. It's not going to let me. Oh, wait. That's not me being attacked, is it? No, it's not me being attacked. Okay. But I'm stuck at this screen. I'm stuck at this screen. I can't I can't watch the fight. That is me. No, it's not me. Okay. <laughs> it's Sanaa in, uh, in Mercur Mercurio. All the shields. Mercurio is the king defender here. Mercurio has been defending all the things. Let's see. I was about to say something. Something revolving around my quest, wasn't it? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't think it was important. <laughs> oh, I remember what I was going to say. Okay. So, like I, like, I got locked out of watching that battle until I chose a thing. And then once I chose something, it still took a while. I think that's one of the only things that I don't like about this game. Sometimes it forces you to sit at certain screens and miss other things. Or there's things that you won't be able to see regardless. Like, I understand right now we won't be able to see anything because of the ability that came into play. Stealth, meaning that we won't be able to watch stuff until stuff has been exposed. But they could update the activity log with things like Mercurio did this. N not saying, I'm sorry, not this, but Mercurio did something that affects this area. Or Sanaa just lost one life because of something we're not allowed to tell you. Things like that. Okay, the Royal Inquisition. Let's see, minus, oh, that was actually a big one. Uh, Where do I go to see? I think I can go here and see the king, yeah. The King's Inquisitors are summoned. Minus one health to all infected heroes and minus three health to all corrupted heroes. Luckily, I'm neither infected nor corrupted. So I didn't lose any health. That means it's time to figure out which one of you suckers <laughs> has the lowest health and go to war. Okay, we have three magic. I'm going to get some more items. Iron Pike. In battle, when attacking, first rolled sword gains pierce, which means even it's... Even if there's a sword, it will penetrate the defense and deal damage. And then first world sword gains reflect. So when I'm defending, uh, if I get a sword, it will reflect damage back towards the enemy. That's a good one. That is a good one. Uh, let's go for trickery. False orders. Force King's Guard off tile. So let's see. I haven't talked much about the King's Guard. Let's see if I can find a guard. Okay, this is a guard here. Uh, I can fight the guard just like I can fight any hero. Just like I can fight these banes. Also, by the way, I can fight these banes. Uh, but to, to go and fight the king, I need to make my way inside here. I'm instantly going to become a fugitive. And they're going to want to come and fight me. Same thing goes if I try and attack them outright. What I can do is I can move him from this tile right here. And instead come in and fight the king. But that's enough of that nonsense. Let's equip the Iron Pike. That'll help in battle a lot. That'll help in battle a lot. Uh, where am I trying to go over here? Yeah. Okay, I need to go back home. Easiest way to go back home would be to get killed. Let's attack Barnaby. Let's see. I could check everybody and what all cards they have equipped as well. So this is who? This is Sana. This is Mercurio. And this is Barnaby. Barnaby has all the cards. Equipped. Wonderful. Just wonderful. This is why he has so many shields. He has heavy plate armor. Damn. 
And if he kills me, I gain one rot. Damn. Damn. He starts with two swords, three shields, an extra die. Holy. Oh, my God. Barnaby's. You know, we're not going to kill Barnaby. We're never going to kill Barnaby, as a matter of fact. He is on a mountain, though. Yes, we actually get to kill Barnaby. Okay, so this car requires the victim or the target <laughs> to be on a mountain. Actually, I don't think we're going to kill him. It's going to force him off the mountain. But it will deal two damage, so it'll be at one heart. Where's he going to go? Okay, so he's going to go to this village here. We can go up the mountain and then attack him, and he'll be dead. He'll be dead, and then he'll die. Bam! Get out of here, Barnaby. Get out of here, Barnaby. All right. Uh, he's definitely not gonna like that though. So we need to we need to play smart from here on out. Thank God, stealth is over. It's a new day, and she immediately gains stealth once again. Immediately gains stealth once again. Let's see. Let's check the king's health. The king. Remember, the king loses one health each turn. So if, if no one goes to purify the king or no one goes to fight the king in order to win, the king can just outright die. In which case, the game cares about who has the highest prestige. Whoever has the highest prestige at that point wins. And the prestige leader is your boy Mercurio. Expendables. Minus one to peril difficulty. I believe that means there's one less symbol that needs to be rolled. All right, Barnaby. He's coming for me. I know he is. It'll be okay. He's going to go to a dungeon. Of course he is. Of course he is. Now, I can't see the AI's. Uh, I can't see the AI's goal, their mission, their quest. And the, I'm pretty sure the game's. Supposed to have it so that they're not familiar with mine either. All right, next time I'm gonna draw two cards. Let's get it. Let's see. We have item. We have two. We have a space for another item. I can only have three items. Let's go for another item. In battle, burn a rot to make all rolled swords gain poison, bruh. Bruh, I need to throw away a rot though. I'm 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 okay with this. I am okay with oh, but I'll gain one run rot. Oh, that's ugly. Let's gain a. What is this one? Oh shoot, it's not gonna let me see it from right here. Removes bounty. That's actually good. The cost is one prestige. That's good because I'm gonna gain a bounty. Uh, bounty means that let's see like i said you'll become a fugitive i believe you'll become a wanted if you go in and take the king's guard i should update that uh the, there's three different levels of bounty there's wanted fugitive and traitor uh it basically just means how much the king wants you dead traitor is obviously the worst uh if another character kills you they'll receive a bounty for killing you if you're if you're wanted a fugitive or if you're a traitor uh that bounty is gold <laughs> That bounty is go. Let's go and equip this. I can throw this away for wait. Let's let's. He's on the dungeon. Also, all rolled swords. Let's get onto the mountain. Equip it, and then we have one rot in case Barnaby loses his mind. In case Barnaby loses his mind, let's equip it. We're gonna gain a rot. I don't think I ever truly gain rot unless I have a plan. This is the very first time I've ever gained a rot and not known exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, so check this out. When we saw, who is it, Barnaby? He has the stranger as one of the people in his party. The stranger often does stuff that will mess you up. Sometimes it'll do stuff that's good for you, but often, more often than not, it'll do things that'll mess you up. For example, it'll waste one of your movements. It'll waste one of your AP for the turn, or it'll give somebody something that could be good, could be bad. It's actually, it's actually a really interesting card in that it could help you. It could help you, but it's not as likely. 
But when it does help you, it's, it helps big. I need Mercurio to lose some of that junk. I think Mercurio could be unstoppable. If Mercurio were going for the Spirit Stone victory, the Purification victory, I feel like Mercurio could pull it off. Oh, another attack. Mercurio's going for it. I believe Sanaa has a mechanic in which she does not use swords for her combat, but she uses... I'm sorry, not swords. Uh, fight. She does use fight for her combat, but she uses spirit, which is really interesting. All of her swords are going down here, too. So she's not trying to fight. She's actually, she's actively trying to stave off the attacks, which is really cool. It's so, it's actually pretty cool. Barnaby was led astray by the stranger. That's exactly what I was talking about before. The stranger used up one of his AP, one of his movements for the turn and threw him in a random direction. All right, so who has the highest prestige? The rat. Yes, that will do nicely. All Banes gain two fight and two bodies. So just like all the other characters, uh, Banes have health and they have dice that they roll. All right, we're close. We're actually, we can make it this turn, can't we? I believe we can make it. I'm going to ignore that battle. It's a dumb battle. One, two, three. Yeah, I think we can make it. We'll have a peril to deal with, but we can make it. The King's Guards are actually not too difficult to, to take out. You really just don't want to take them out unless, unless you're getting a lot of rewards. Okay, so the Banes actually have this Rot Symbol work for them as an attack. It works for them as an attack. So they have in total two or three sides that deal damage you really want to be careful messing with the banes you don't want to mess with the banes all right so it's my turn i get to draw one card i think for this i'm going spell minus three at one tile range Minus two at two tiles and minus one health beyond. Okay, so Immolation is a card that I typically want to play on myself, I believe. It won't deal damage to me, but if you are in one tile around me, you will take three damage because you're the closest. If you are two tiles away from me, you will take uh, two points of damage. And if you are three tiles away, you will take one point. That is a really good card. That's a really good card. What I typically want to do is get in an uh, area where I'm going to deal damage to three or more players and then just go to war. Like right here, this square or this tile right here is actually the perfect spot right now. It's going to deal a lot of damage to these two, and it's going to deal a good amount to these two. I'm not going to use it just yet. And, and actually, spells don't work on the king. None of these cards are cards you can play against the king. Will not work. The game won't let you on top of it not working. All right. So we succeed our goal, but we got this peril to deal with. We have a sword and a shield that we need. Let's throw out false orders. I really don't care for this guard, to be honest. So we just need to roll one sword. Come on. All moons. Got Wait. God damn it. Minus two gold. If you can't pay it, damn. You take one health and you lose what? One AP? I think I was already out of AP. Okay, so once again, I'll gain one sword no matter what. I'll gain one prestige no matter what. But I could go for the spirit stone. Again, I'm not going for this victory, so let's go for it. I'm actually thinking of taking out the king. I think I can get away with it. What else happened for the peril? Oh, it won't. It won't let me. It won't tell me. I encountered the king's peril. Oh, I lost one action point. That's fine because I was already at the end of my turn. I was already as far as I can go for the turn. Uh, this costs two magic. Okay. One, two, three. That'll actually hit that Bane still. 
I could. Oh, I won't take Barnaby out. I won't take out any of the. Actually, I'll take this guard out. I'm not sure if I want to. I'll take that Bane out too. To be honest, I think I should drop. Damn it! I don't honestly. I, because it's showing that I can play it on these cards or these characters. I don't know if I should drop this now or not. I don't know if I should play it on myself or not. We'll wait. We'll wait. We can wait. We can wait. It can wait. Alms for the bull. Uh, let's go for another body. Let's go for as much health as possible. Keep us alive. So this is my quest. I'll show you again. Uh, because oh, it's not gonna let me. You're not gonna let me. You're not gonna let me. Let's see. Can I see my quest here? No, I can't see my quest here. Well, I could have sworn there's a way to see my quest. My active quest. No, whatever. I'll show you when we get there. All right, so he is trying to take on the king by going into the king's kingdom. He thinks he's ready. He's got to roll these symbols or he's going to be horribly, horribly. Damn it. Is Mercurio going to do this? Is he going to take out the king? King's got four health and the king has rot. The king has rot. That's not good for anybody, but especially not good for Mercurio. I explain that when we get. Oh, that's really not good for Mercurio. I explain when we get there. Let's watch this battle. Let's watch this one. The King's Guard against the lowly Barnaby. Damn, Barnaby's stacked already. Damn. Keep rolling trees. He's dead. I should have dropped it on. Matter of fact, matter of fact. Let's see, where am I? Where am I? So I don't blow myself up. One, two, three. Shit, that'll still hit me. Whatever. Whatever. Be okay. I think I can't play it right now. I think I have to wait for him to finish the peril for it to work the way I wanted to. Because then I could take all of these boys out, huh? Oh, no, not Barnaby. Not Barnaby. Minus one prestige. Okay, here we go. Here you go. Bam. Ah, I interpreted the card wrong altogether. It only hits that one. Damn it. I should have dropped it on Barnaby. <laughs> Damn it. It's okay. The bane has gone. I got rid of a bane. It's okay. Is he going to? Nope. He missed that one. So he takes one damage, right? Yeah. And then he has to retreat. Oh, I should have dropped it on Barnaby. He would have been dead. Barnaby would have been dead. I would have gotten the bounty. The world would have been a better place. I wonder if Mercurio thinks he's going to take the king out. The king is not going to be easy to fight. There's so many There's so many different mechanics for fighting the king. Oh, the Bane's coming for me. The Bane thought that was a, a good idea to come for me. So we both have Rot. So now he gets bonus dice based on the difference between how much rot we have because he has more. Shit, I think I need to I think I need to start rotting it up. Here we go. So all my swords will deal bonus damage because of the thing I have equipped and me throwing away a rot. Hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Hell you think this is. I don't know what you think it is, but it ain't. Where am I trying to go, by the way? <laughs> I don't remember where I'm trying to go. We'll find it in a second. I need more things with rot, though. Blizzard. Palisade walls. None of these are going to be good for me. Minus two health at night or minus one health during the day. Moonbite will, will definitely give it a Barnaby just as I need. He has a bounty, yes. He has two health, yes. 
Bye, Barnaby. Dope. Got the bounty. Look at my prestige. How is my prestige not the highest right now? It is. So I'll be making decisions provided we make it to the next turn. I really hope the king murders Mercurio. I really hope. I really hope. Let's see. Uh, what, sh what should I do next? Let's see. These tiles here. Minus one health to corrupted creatures. Will it heal me? I hope it heals me. Let's see. Where am I trying to go? I believe if I want to see my marker for my, my next quest. Oh, never mind. Right here. I need to find a way to get over there super quick. Uh, one, one. Let's go through to that dungeon there. Two. Three. Hey, more go. All right. I think that's all I can do. Yeah, that's all I can do. Do I have a bounty? Good. I have a bounty. Last thing I need is people vying for my go. Mercurio's going to attack the king. He's a traitor. Look at all them dice. I'm sorry, it's not the difference. Uh, for whoever has the most rot, they take the other person's number of rot worth of dice. You regret this. He's rolling 12 dice right here to Mercurio's three, and then five that are already predetermined. He is going to murder Mercurio. Unless he keeps getting shields, he's going to murder him. It's going to be a bloodbath. Bruh. Bruh. Boom. Slaughter. Death. Death to Mercurio. The king is not playing. Okay, so... Best case scenario, the easiest way it looks like for me to win right now is just to let the king die. If the king gets sick to the point that he dies and nobody else has killed him, then I, I'll win because I have the highest prestige. Let's see, I don't think I have any rock cards to throw away, do I? Oh, I, don't even, I can't even throw away cards. Let's just roll. Barnaby out here throwing away cards, boy. So that's that's really it, huh? That's really it for me, huh? God damn it. God damn it. Barnaby, you oh I can't I was gonna say you better not go in the mountains. I can't I can't cause uh I'm in the clan grounds. What's my prestige at? The king keeps taking damage, but his health hasn't really gone down too much. My prestige is still the highest. Dope. So it's up to me to make the decision. Now, of course, decisions aren't always good and bad, good versus bad. But one of them is more likely in your favor to be good for you. As let's see, all heroes suffer three prestige. We need not that happen. Or all settlements across the kingdom become terrorized. Because we don't have any kingdoms, any uh, settlements, excuse me. I don't think we have any settlements. There's a way to check that. Go, go, go. I'm, I'm sure there's a way. Oh, yeah, right here. Uh, we don't have any settlements. But Mercurio has two and Barnaby has three. So that's how much gold they're getting each turn. Let's... They all become terrorized. Nobody makes any gold as long as I have anything to say about it. Your heroes infected will lose one health every dawn. In battle game bonus dice equal to your opponent's rot. When your erotic sees theirs. Okay. Uh, before I mention that there's a lot of moments 
where according to how the game works, uh, there's nothing happening. And that being the only thing that I don't like. The other only thing that I don't like about this game is that it requires you to be online. There's an always online requirement for this game, whether or not you're playing in single player mode. I have no idea what that reason is, but I'm, I've never been a fan of always online games. Typically because when I'm not on my computer, if I'm on my laptop, uh, I typically play games not on the internet or in areas where I don't have internet access. So it means that I can't play this game. It actually will not let you function without being online. Uh, let's see. We have space for another item, right? No, we don't. Let's get another item anyways. In battle, get one die. Okay, that's fine. That's a sword we can throw away. Uh, coming in here, minus one for corrupted. We're not corrupted, right? We're not corrupted. We're infected. I still feel like we should let that ride, though. We should ignore it. I'm going to go up here. It's the same thing, though. All right, what are we going to do? Uh, I want to get to that dungeon, to be honest. I want to get to that dungeon. So let's go there. So we're not corrupted, we're infected. So we're not going to take that damage. We actually heal. And I need to roll a, a sun to succeed in this. I don't have a sun card to throw away. This actually These actually use spirit. So my spirit is so low, I have a very low chance of getting this. I just need a sun. And the dice hate me. The dice hate me. So I'm going to teleport to the furthest dungeon, which actually isn't too bad. Failing this isn't too bad. It lets me do what I wanted to do last turn, this turn, and now I have two spirit stones. I actually might end up going for the spirit victory. Let's see, brilliant fool or lose two health. This one's actually, oh, this isn't the spirit victory. Never mind. Uh, but still, this one's actually not bad. This symbol here means that I'll get a partner. I forget the term they use for it. Uh, I'll check in a second. But if I succeed, I'll get a brilliant fool. So in perils, I'll get a bonus two dice. It's a recruitable character, so it's a recruit. I'll risk it. For 70%, I'll risk it. 70% or lose two health, I'm fine with it. So it just picks randomly. Did it. Did it. The higher that percentage, the better. So I got the recruitable Brilliant Fool. Next time I go into a peril, I'll have a bonus two dice. The peril is what I have rolled that, got telep uh, that teleported me this way. Let's just go ahead and equip it to my party. It's not a bad thing. It's free. If it's free as for me. The Bane does oh no, the Bane will not be so kind. Let's see, I can't move here because it costs two to move here. What's the king at? I really just honestly, at this point I really just need the king to die. If he dies and no one takes him on, my prestige is the highest. Oh, I am looking for my quest. This is the quest. This square was the uh, this hex was the quest. I'm gonna move it to the forest so I'll be fine at nighttime. Just trying to figure out which forest is the best. How many quests did I do? You have a total of five quests, I believe, over the course of the game. I'm pretty sure it's five quests, and then after that, the only thing left for you to do is take on the king. I'm gonna move into this forest so when night falls, I'll be safe. Can I equip this plus one die for in battle? Which one is costing me? I'm going to put it over this. Burn a rot. Because I don't have any rot. I'll lose the other one. I don't get a refund. I don't get it back. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Hey, youngin. Yes, a total of... Oh, no. The fifth quest is the last one. So, past this. Past this, we got to make our way in and try to kill the king. That is all that we can do aside from letting the king die himself. But that means we need to go... On actively attack people to kill them to keep them from going to kill the king because if they kill the king and survive they win regardless of anything else on the board no matter who has how many spirit stones no matter who has the highest prestige if they kill the king and survive they win so i need to stop the king he is infected and he's gonna get two dice from me all right so we got a bonus die thanks to that card that we just dropped uh, Mercurio, I have eight health. He has five attack or five swords. I think I need to drop this or burn this. I can remove the bounty. I'm not worried about that. Let's go. 
I need to at least keep myself alive. Keep myself alive. As long as I don't die, as long as I don't die, I don't lose prestige. He can't kill me. I don't think I can damage him. Oh, wait. Now I, now anything I roll will damage him. Yes. That's one point. Keep this sun, Keep it coming. That's two points. That's fine. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So he's down to two health here. If he attacks me again, he is a fool. He is the fooliest of fools. Okay, good. Good. I think I actually might attack him next turn, though. Remember, I start with one damage before battle even happens. He's got one prestige. Who's leading prestige still? Me? Who's leading prestige? Shoot, it keeps it keeps killing the window. Okay, I'm leading in prestige. And another another fun battle to watch. <laughs> These actually aren't too bad because now we're at the point where every battle can go in any direction. Because we got characters with rot. I think everyone has some rot. We got characters with a ridiculous amount of dice. So none of these battles are truly bad to watch. Dead. The King's Guard has died. I believe new guards just get spawned. So killing them's killing them's okay, but I believe new guards will just come up in their place, which, to be honest, is fine. Kane's got to have a an endless amount of guards. This is gonna be good. Come on, roll the dice, boys. Oh, I think he might kill him. Yeah, I think he might kill the... Yeah, they're both dead, actually. Y'all can stop rolling now. Just killed him. Dead. Dead. Both of you dead. The king's guards have all died, haven't they? There might be one... Yeah, there's one guard left. They're just going to spawn new ones, like I said. All right. Like I said, our goal now... What does this mean? Oh, stealth. I was to say, what is this cool... Cool symbol. Our goal now is to stay alive. Stay alive, kill everyone else. Grants evade. Evade. When attacked, roll wits, not fight. And all attack will count as defense instead. I'm not okay with this card. This card's getting burnt. This card's getting burnt as an attack card. Call of the worm. All cards in target hands, all in target's hand, change to rot symbols. These up here. Not a fan of that. Uh, let's see. My turn. My goal is to move in here and take on the king. Oh, move specifically right here to take on the king. I think we can do him in. He doesn't have rot. We do. No perils here? No peril here? What does this mean? That uh, was a peril. Whatever. We'll be okay. And that's the end of the turn. Uh, let's see. This will give me plus four health. This actually doesn't increase my health. This heals me. This heals me. This grants evade. I'm not using that as evade. I'll burn that card. So I get a, an attack and an extra roll. One of the, one of the things that isn't exactly easy to tell is that when you burn these cards you're spending a die you're guaranteeing that one of the die end up on this symbol that you want so spending this doesn't mean if i go to attack somebody with six help six uh fight and i spent what oh he stole two cards how how cute how cute uh if i go to spend this card with six dice that means I'm really playing five dice, and I'm guaranteeing that one of the die is a moon symbol, which may or may not be better. It may or may not be a better case. But if I spend this symbol, I'm guaranteeing that one is a tree. Remember, the tree means that I will get an attack and roll that die again. 
So, like, spinning the tree, I'm 100% okay with. Because, I mean, it actually is helping. These cards, everything else just guarantees that that symbol comes up on one of the die. Or one of the dice, excuse me. Still the highest prestige. A new declaration. What suits? The king orders the prestige leader to pass down their own renown. Renown, excuse me. Giving each other hero plus one prestige. Uh, no. The king orders all guards to hunt all heroes under the cover of darkness. The king's guards move after Banes this coming night. Okay, so they're gonna they're gonna go after the Banes. That's that was gonna happen regardless of what this said. Cause I ain't giving y'all my prestige. I'll kiss my ass. All right, so if I get into a crazy combat, I'm gonna use this to heal. We're actually going to move in here. We don't have to attack anybody if we move in here. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Is he dead? He's close to dead. He's so close to dead. The king's guards suck. <laughs> the king's guards suck. We get two cards. Again, item. Give me a shield and a spell. Focus plus two spirit. Dope. All right. Uh, this is a dungeon. The goal is to move in here, and that can be done if I go here and then here. What I'm going to do, though, actually, no, we can't take on the king. We have that rot. The king is going to murder us. King is going to murder us with nine dice. Actually, let's take on the king. I think I think now is the time to take on the king. I could throw this card away. Actually, I could throw these three away. This will guarantee... Two attacks, because it's daytime. It's it's daytime, so the sun gives me an attack. This will guarantee another attack, as well as a die to roll. And then this is a shield. I think it's time to take on the king. Let's move in here. And then head in here. Into the palace. Let's go. I will face a terrible peril. Oh, shit, I forgot about the peril. I don't care. Let's go. All right. So before I can attack the king, I take on this peril. If I don't succeed, I think I go home and I take a lot of damage. Right? No? No peril? No? Oh, okay. Well, fine. No peril. I was right. I was right. <laughs> I was right. Sana coming for me? Good. Good. The last thing I want is Sana to try and attack me. All right, Mercurio, if you do this, if you... Oh, good. He's not attacking. Good. God. Mercurio completed this quest fast. Oh, everybody's trying to come in here now. And now it's nighttime. So instead of throwing this focus away, we'll throw away the blizzard now. Let's see. I need to know about the king. The king is at three health. Yo, Mercurio will not survive. Mercurio will not survive an attack from the king. There is no way in hell the guard is defending. All right, guard. Have you rot? You have no rot? No rot have you? No rot has he. Okay, so we really just need to survive this attack. It's nighttime, right? No, it's daytime. It's counting my moon as an attack. Weird. All right. We survived the attack, and we actually reflected it so that we can. Oh, we didn't kill him. We got close, right? Four? Yeah. Damn it. It's fine. It's fine. We were not here to kill the guard. We're not here to kill the guard. I 
I think we could do this. You know, what are the odds? What are the odds that Mercurio rolls a shield for every single one of the dice that the king is going to roll for attack? What are the odds? To be honest, I want to let Mercurio attack the king. Because if it, he could kill the king. He could kill the king. But there's no way the king won't kill him. I don't believe the king won't kill him. And if he does kill the king and he dies, I'll win because I have the highest prestige. I'm actually, I'm actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to let Mercurio attack the king. I'm just going to chill out here. I'm just going to chill out in the castle. Now, if I, if I fuck this up, <laughs> if I fuck this up, I'm going to be bad. Okay, there's no, look, there's no way. And he has rot, and he has rot, bruh, he's going to kill him. I'm chilling out for this turn. I'm chilling. I'm not doing anything but getting Sanaa the hell away from me. Go. I'm not I'm not doing anything. He has six rot. That Mercurio has six rot. That means the king is going to get six dice. On top of the seven that he already has. There's no way with 13 dice he's not killing Mercurio. But I want Mercurio to kill the king. Where's where is he? He's under the stupid ass clouds. Let's see. Five attack. Five attack. Is there a way I can help him? A spirit. I can't play it anyways. Okay. I feel like this is the riskiest thing I could do right now. I could just go and kill the king. I'm 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 letting it pa I'm passing. Mercurio, kill the king. You have to kill the king. He's going to murder you. She's back in the mountain good. Turn wasted. Oh, the tricky thing changes people. Okay. Here's the moment we've been waiting for. We have to watch battles against the king. I didn't even click it. Okay. Six dice. Thirteen all together. There's no way. Come on. Kill the king. I need you to kill the king. Come on. Come on. Come on. We need three more attacks than shields. I think he's going to do it. Bruh, did this just happen? He just killed the king, right? Yes! And then this is true bloodshed right here. Annihilation. Now I... Oh, shoot. Please tell me... Oh, this is my prestige. Okay, I was going to say, please tell me it's not his prestige. The king is dead. His killer is dead. I win! <laughs> I win! I did it! I have the highest prestige. When the king dies and the king's killer dies, whoever has the highest prestige wins. I win! <laughs> I love this game! I know for a fact I would have died. I would have died horribly had I attacked. <sighs> This game is beautiful. <laughs> this game is beautiful. Alright, so as you can see, I've completed nine games. This is only my ninth game that I've finished of Armello. But I actually I actually enjoy this game a lot. It's just it takes a long time. I mean, we're already past an hour, so. And then I've only played those nine games <laughs> with River. I like River. All right, guys, that's going to do it for uh, this run of Armello. Honestly, I'm not against playing more of this on the channel. It's just taking me a while because like, I wanted to, I wanted to get a feel for the game before I tried to uh, 
get you to watch something that I had no idea what I was talking about. I love board games. I love board games. I love games with dice, and I love games with cards. This is literally all three of those in one, and it does it in a really nice way. It does it in a really nice way. I feel like this game could not exist in physical form because there's so much information that you're not supposed to be knowing. For example, uh, you don't know what the what the opponent's quests are as well as where they're trying to go and also the fact that you can do stuff during other players turns makes it really hard for this to happen in a physical form with a computer it makes it really easy that's why that's why i enjoy this game all right guys thank you for checking this out if you enjoyed this video and would love to see more then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video Last time, I'll the grind button and turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video gets posted to the channel or whenever I do something cool like a live stream. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play. This was fun. This was a lot of fun.